Hi, my name is Andy. Uh, I've got a band called Weatherhead and uh, I'm just going to sing a couple of songs from the guitar and a couple on the mandolin. I've traveled around this country wide seeking for Yes, we're in the Signet Hospital in Taunton. Well, the music has kept me going. I'm alive because of music. It not only um, improves my life, but it actually kept my life, has kept my life, kept me alive, literally has kept me alive. I pinched my uh, sister's guitar from her bedroom because she wasn't playing it and didn't give it back to her. Um, you know, and uh, I, I knew as soon as I put the, my hands on the guitar, that's what I was gonna do for the rest of my life. Country music, all sorts of music. I like American music. Uh, I think possibly the most of all, Americana. It's very hard writing lyrics, um, especially in this age, because there's so many around, there's so many songs. Music, as, as, as um, I suffer from uh, quite severe depression and, I, and, and music has helped me keep me, my head above water, literally. And um, as I said, it's, it literally kept me alive. Uh, at times when I, I, I could find no other good reason to carry on. I think the best way to put it is that I've played the guitar for 47 years. I've um, sung for 10. I wouldn't sing for, until about 10 years ago. And so I, I, what happened is I did, finally decided that the, there was nobody else to do the singing for me at a particular time. Or I'd run out of people to do the singing for and you know, I used to hide behind the guitar and let them do the singing. But eventually I decided I had to get up and do, you know, face the music. <laughs> Do the, do the lyrics myself, and actually, I'm very glad that I did. But it's quite a late age, you know. I was in my, I was about around 50 when I first started to sing. Um, when at sometimes I've had very good friends, other times when my friends have been few and far between. Music is the thing that has kept me going. In the immediate, it can calm you down. I mean, it, 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 actually, the actual act of playing can slow your heart rate right down. But quite often people try to run before they can walk. And quite often people give up because they think I'll never ever be able to play uh, Bohemian Rhapsody or something like that, you know, something that they dream of playing. And they give up when, when in fact they could, they don't know what they can do until they've tried. A lot of other things as well as music, you know, stop it. Uh, because uh, I think that this is a culture where we do put limits on us and have limits set on us. Um, which are very hard to resist. People don't do it, necess do it necessarily on purpose, it's just as part of the society. I've never had a set of camera lights on me before, uh, or, or we've done an interview, but an actual in interview with, a, uh, with someone asking me questions. So that's a, that's a first on both counts, and Signet has made that possible. To provide all the, um, you know, you provide gu gu guitars, fire, providing space, um, and uh, the right facilities. And you know, we've done a pretty good job of, this is a nice little room, it works. I was encouraged to do this by a member of the Signet staff, and I had no idea it was going to happen. And I think that speaks for itself. It's, it, it, it can become an us and them thing. You're either, you're either in the audience or you're, you're in the show. And I prefer, the, um, I like everybody to be in the show. Never meant to be Writing on the wall was plain to see 